Hello everyone. This is Dr. Carolyn Maria working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education Chennai. The title of the course is Environmental Education in which we are going to focus on history objectives guiding principles of environmental education. First we'll learn what is environment, types and components of environment, then we'll proceed to environmental education, its meaning, history objectives functions guiding principles need for ecological intelligence and ecological sensitivity in environmental education the objectives are the learner will be able to acquire knowledge about complete environment and understand environmental education let us see what is environment the word environment has been etymologically derived from the french term environnia which means around round about to encompass or to surround environment refers to the surroundings or conditions in which a person animal or plant lives or operates according to anesthesi environment is everything that affects the individual except his genes p gisbert said environment is anything immediately surrounding an object and exerting a direct influence on it let us see the types of environment there are two types of environment abiotic environment also known as physical and natural environment which includes the non living components like land water air and conditions of atmosphere biotic environment also known as biological or organic environment which includes plants animals and microorganisms let us see the components of environment there are three components non living components like land water air and climate living components like plants and animals energy components are solar energy geothermal energy hydroelectrical energy nuclear or atomic energy let us move on to what is environmental education Environmental education is a recent advanced area of study to create awareness about environment and to know the impact of environmental degradation. Environmental education should be made as a cradle to grave approach to achieve sustainable development. UNESCO in 1976 declared environmental education is a way of implementing the goals of environmental protection. It is a separate branch of science or study it should be carried out according to the principles of lifelong integral education let us focus on the history of environmental education till 1960 the term environmental education was not widely used in 18th century rousseau stressed the importance of education that focuses on the environment After several decades Louis Agassiz a Swiss born naturalist echoed Rousseau's philosophy and he encouraged the students to study nature and not books In 20th century an important political and social movement called environmentalism emerged to protect the nature by reducing the world consumption of fossil fuels to reduce and clean up all sorts of pollution with future goal of zero pollution and preservation of existing endangered species and protection of biodiversity the definition of environmental education first appeared in the journal of environmental education in 1969 authored by william b stapp the integral integral international recognition for environmental education happened in the year 1972 in a conference called as United Nations Conference on Human Environment which was held in Sweden St Stockholm which declared environmental education must be used as a tool to address the global environmental problem this this conference has declared the world environment day as june 5th since the conference started on june 5th UNESCO and United Nations environment program created three major declarations as the stockholm declaration which was aimed to inspire and guide the people of the world in the preservation and enhancement of human environment the belgrade charter 
added the goals and objectives and guiding principles of environmental education. Tulsi Declaration has guided the course for environmental education. In 1992, the Earth Summit, or otherwise called as United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, which was held in the held in Brazil, brought environmental education and sustainability to the forefront of global importance. The objectives of environmental education are. to create awareness about environment and environmental problems to acquire knowledge about environmental problems to develop positive attitude to understand the environmental problems to develop skills to identify the environmental problems to evaluate the present condition of environment and to participate in the working solution of environmental problems the objectives of environmental education should be given in different levels differently in primary education the objective of environmental education should be focusing on creating awareness by giving them the knowledge about environment in secondary education the real life situation should be focused and students should be encouraged to understand the environment in higher secondary education students should be encouraged to develop the skills for conservation of natural resources in college and university education students should be encouraged to develop positive attitude and evaluate the environmental problems for sustainable development there are various functions of environmental education environmental education can change the people's knowledge attitude behavior towards the environment it deepens the people's understanding and increase their environmental awareness it will pass the knowledge about the environment even to the future generation also environmental education will make the people to become innovative investigative inquisitive about environmental issues it will foster the creativity as well as ingenuity to solve the environmental problems guiding principles of environmental education teachers are the ones who are expected to guide the students with regard to environmental protection teachers can correlate the topics of environmental issues whatever subject they teach they can incorporate all the facts with regard to environment and teach to create awareness among the students to help them to understand their responsibility and teachers can use the playway methods and they can even conduct skit they can organize field work to zoo national park polluted cities rivers bird sanctuary and they can even organize seminar workshop for environmental issues they can create eco clubs to initiate various activities like campus cleaning sapling plantation conducting organic food mela having a compost pit to dump all the biodegradable waste inviting people to talk about e waste management conducting environmental quiz screening some short films with regard to environmental protection and they can incorporate environmental education either as a separate subject or a core or compulsory subject the need of the r is because of the unmindful human activities the environment is degraded so it is right time for us to come forward to repair the environment how can we repair the environment with the help of ecological intelligence and ecological sensitivity because ecological intelligence and ecological sensitivity will help us for environmental protection let us see what is ecological intelligence you would have heard about this famous american psychologist daniel goleman who is very famous for emotional intelligence he said he human beings do not have any sensors defi- designed to warn themselves about the innumerable ways how human activities cause damages to planet earth he also emphasized that there is a need for ecological intelligence in human beings to understand the pain of planet earth and come forward to work together to protect the planet earth so he gave gave the definition of ecological intelligence in the year 2009 as ecological intelligence refers to the human's collective ability to understand the human impact of ecosystem to act in ways to improve them 
I have defined ecological intelligence is a specific mental ability of an individual to understand the interconnectedness between human beings and their environment, human activities and their impact on environment and to realize the strategies to protect the environment. I have given some dimensions of ecological intelligence. When a person is having awareness with regard to natural resources, different pollution, environmental problems like global warming, ozone layer depletion, acid rain, extinction of species and all. And if a person is having understanding with regard to environmental movements, environmental conferences, policies, environmental protection and management strategies, curriculum for environmental education, using science and technology for environmental protection, do's and don'ts of environment with regard to environmental ethics, that is called as ecological intelligence. Let us focus on ecological sensitivity. The ability of human beings to respond to affective changes in interpersonal environment is called sensitivity. A study in 2002 has said that creating positive changes in behavior of people is essential to find the solution for environmental problems. So these positive responses of human beings towards the protection of environment are considered as ecological sensitivity. Hence, I have construed the term ecological sensitivity is the mental disposition of an individual to deal effectively with the dynamic environment with empathy by taking initiatives to mitigate the environmental problems for sustainable development. I will give you a small example. We have come across with leaking tap and unwanted light in our life, daily life. We, if we feel for the wastage of energy, that shows the empathy towards the environment. But when you take the initiative to go and close the leaking tap and switch off the unwanted light, that is called as the ecological sensitivity. If you have the feeling or the if you are able to understand the pain of environment that is called as environmental empathy which is a dimension of ecological sensitivity when you come forward to reduce pollution and determine to follow eco-friendly practices and if you are sensitive towards the health issues and when you come forward to uh, avoid pollution and if you are taking initiatives to conserve the mother earth that is called as ecological sensitivity. In a nutshell, ecological intelligence is pertaining to your cognitive domain with regard to the knowledge of environmental problems and it is pertaining to your affective domain with regard to the understanding of environmental problems. Whereas, ecological sensitivity is pertaining to the affective domain with regard to the understanding of environmental problems and psychomotor domain with regard to the responses and initiatives what you take to protect the environment. So ecological intelligence will enhance the ecological sensitivity in every human being. The key takeaways of this course are the first takeaway is we are supposed to avoid the NIMBY syndrome which is not in my backyard. If you are concentrating only your house and your backyard, we will go and dump all the trash in the street corner. First of all, we are supposed to come out of this NIMBY syndrome. Then follow 5 E's. Be eco-smart in buying all the things. And follow an eco-friendly lifestyle. Wherever possible, you can walk and go. And follow e-communication. Wherever possible, we can go for paperless e-communication. Using all the energy efficiently is another E. And we are supposed to go for proper e-waste management because electronic waste is most dangerous at present in the environment. Also follow 5 hours. You have come across with 3 hours. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Let me introduce 2 more hours rethink and refuse whenever you are going for shopping go for a rethink check whether you need the product mandatorily if you need it 100 percent mandatory you can go for it otherwise you can refuse and you can reduce the consumption and we can reuse all the products whatever we have and we can go for recycle
let us have some points for reflection environmental education is a powerful tool to bring out desirable behavior changes in human beings just comment on it put forth your ideas to increase ecological intelligence to develop ecological sensitivity what are your plans for eco friendly lifestyle i have given some books for you to read to improve your ecological intelligence and ecological sensitivity and also with regard to environmental education hope you have understood the concept well thank you for listening wish you good luck